Hi, I'm Dr. Jared Nielsen. I'd like to share with you some information about three important organs in the system. When we talk about liver, the liver is the second largest organ in the body, secondary only to the skin itself. Its primary purpose is to detoxify, but also to prepare everything that we've consumed to be able to be utilized in the rest of the body. So as we eat all the food and nutrients that come in through our intestines, actually come back through the bloodstream, through the liver, where it's prepared and packaged to be provided to the rest of the system to be able to be utilized there as either energy or building blocks as nutrition. We look also deeper into the liver. The liver has two primary detoxification pathways, a phase one and a phase two detoxification pathway. Both of these are essential to the body and when one or the other is broken down or impaired, often we'll see other detoxification organs start to take on their burden. So we mentioned the skin, a lot of people will get little uh, acne along their scalp line or sores along their hairline, as we commonly see associated with liver impairment, as well as then the kidney. The kidney will start to take up the burden the liver is unable to fulfill when the liver is either congested or backed up. Common causes of congestion in the liver, uh, the most common cause of non-alcoholic cirrhosis of the liver is actually celiac disease. So people who have gluten intolerances that now have a reactivity will actually create autoimmunity and then fatty infiltration buildup in the liver. So think about gluten intolerance as you think about impaired liver function. Also look at bilirubin backing up. So oftentimes people with carnicterus or jaundice will actually have yellowed skin or itchy skin. That will lead also to impaired hormone processing or utilization and elimination which then associated with fatty acid metabolism faults create for us estrogen dominance in females which can lead to gallbladder dysfunction and gallbladder congestion. So think there of PMS symptoms including uh, heavy menstrual flow with blood clots, um, we'll oftentimes see fibrocystic breasts, uterine fibroids, and then gallbladder attacks. So again, liver function and gallbladder function and healing those. Again, the other detoxification pathway is the kidney and elimination and health for the kidney is dependent on CoQ10 and often upregulates its function. And then we finally look at the joining of the gallbladder uh, duct or the bile duct with the pancreatic duct coming in and those two together then actually form what's known as the common bile duct. The pancreas is essential for digestion of sugars and proteins and when we look at it, it releases so many different enzymes that are all released into the second part of the small intestine for then again digestion and utilization of nutrients to be absorbed back through the liver. So think health again from a perspective of internal health and the detoxification pathways. Before you start a detoxification process, make sure you have good health in the kidneys, the liver, the gallbladder, and pancreas. Otherwise, you may create a bigger problem. Observe the signs that can be early warning signs of liver dysfunction by skin or rashes, skin sores, rashes, or even acne along the hairline or in the back of the neck. Itching, especially on females in their thighs, the abdomen, backs of the arms, indicative of estrogen or estrogenic imbalances, as well as gallbladder dysfunction, often seen as pimples on the uh, triceps or little bumps, white bumps on the skin on the triceps. Uh, with the kidney, an excessive kidney uh, dysfunction will lead often to edema or swelling in the ankles, but subtle things look still for change in color of urine or on the urinalysis, a change in the urine uh, presentation report. Thanks for taking the time to view this re uh, review.